Allegiance is an uplifting musical about a tragic chapter in American history. We are here on opening night to talk to stars George Takei, Leah Salonga, and more about this brand new Broadway show. Why are you excited to be here tonight? Um, you know, a couple of reasons, but honestly, I can't wait to see Leah Salonga on stage. She and I did Les Mis together. She was Fantine, and I was Angeros for a while in that first, the first revival. And there's just something so thrilling about her watching her live. Her voice has such an incredible power and uh, and clarity that's like really unlike anyone else. Uh, I'm excited to, to to hear Leia Salonga sing. I mean, she can sing to me all night long, no matter what it is. But especially in an important story like this. Are you ready to pledge allegiance to Allegiance tonight? Absolutely. George has been talking to us about Allegiance for 10 years before there was ever a word written on the paper. And so I'm very excited to celebrate this with him. It's a triumph that he's doing this show. It's a triumph that he got you to come to Broadway. That's the triumph, not the show. You know, the odds of getting a hit show on Broadway are about a billion to one. But it's not, it's not the show, it's getting me to show up. But he's a, he's a wonderful guy, he really is. He's a good guy. Can you give me a George Takei oh my? Oh my. That's pretty good. Oh my. Oh my. Does he do it like that, kind of? Like, pretty much. Oh my. Oh my. That was pretty good. That was really good. <laughs> George Takei, congratulations on making your Broadway debut. This is my Broadway debut. I'm a debutante, and it is a heady, heady evening, isn't it? I'm so proud of George. I mean, to make your dream come true at the age of 78, to make your Broadway debut at this age, it's fantastic. George is somebody that I've admired for so long. As an Asian American actor, it, it is imperative that you know those that came before you and those that have paved the way for you to do what it is that you are doing, and George, is such an icon in the Asian American acting community. And, you know, had it not been for people like George Takei, like Pat Morita, there would probably be no Telly Leongs. It's been so humbling to work with this extraordinary group of people who are dedicated to telling this story. And as a, as a means of this dedication, the process has been just so invigorating. George Takei, who lived this era of history, who was interned, and, and he did it as a little boy, So I, and that actually makes it a little bit more special. Uh, we get to hear his insights. Such a, a difficult chapter in American history. How is it that this musical is so uplifting and so hopeful? Well, you know, the, it's the resilience of the Japanese American people. We have a song titled Gama, which means to endure with dignity. And a part of that is to be strong enough to find joy under these harsh circumstances. All those people who are coming to see George Takei because they love him on Star Trek are going to get a surprise. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, George is a national treasure. There's simply no other way to say it. The man is embodies so much dignity, so much integrity, and so much great humor. It must not suck to have Leia Salonga sing to you on stage. No. I pinch myself every day. It's not hard to fall in love with that woman on stage every day. She makes it easy. She opens her mouth and you just melt. Finally brought Leia Salonga back to Broadway. Thank you for that. And sh talk about talk about a wonder to work with. And I mean, the privilege of writing for that voice. I mean, when I was little, I used to listen to the, the Miss Saigon cast album all the time and, and just hope that I could meet her. And now here I am writing songs for her. How does it feel to be back? It feels incredible. I mean. Just being on Broadway is one of the most incredible things um, as an actor to experience, and it's never gets old. It, it never gets old, and I'm just too glad to be in this show and in New York City doing this show every day. I'm just so happy. You know, this evening is really a miracle because I never in my wildest dreams, as recently as a decade ago, thought of merging my passion for musical theater with my mission in life which is to raise the awareness of this chapter of American history and present it on the Broadway stage. And it is reality now. Miraculous things can happen. 